Uh, what we decided we wanted to take a look at hmm, uh, was the really the problem, really the challenge of stand-ups at NAN. Said, well, you know, right now, stand-ups can get a little bit chaotic. Some stand-ups are scheduled per project. Uh, it can, they can happen multiple times a week. And engineers are creating written stand-up notes, but oftentimes these are being shared during a synchronous meeting so that it's a little bit harder for folks across different teams or who aren't in a stand-up to see what's going on. Uh, so we went ahead and saw, sat down. And when I say we, um, really uh, my lovely uh, colleagues in the group had this great idea ready to go when we, when we started. So we went ahead and set up a cron job that Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. We'll just go ahead and ping all of the engineers and say, hey, are you ready for a stand-up? Would you like to do a stand-up? Have a queue ready to go. And at 10 a.m., it'll go ahead and check, hey, which are what what engineers are in these stand-ups and need to be messaged. Um, you may notice that we did this through Mattermost and don't have a Mattermost. Oh, we do have a Mattermost node. Uh, but we went ahead and used the webhook here instead because we decided to work with the interactive messages. We thought that would be a really, really good feature. Um, that's not currently built into the N8N, uh, the Mattermost node for N8N. But if, if anybody's taking suggestions on things we'd love to see in this, that's definitely something that came up. Executing this workflow, please work, please. Hey, everything's fine. Uh, we get a, hey there, it's time for stand-up note in from our stand-up bot. We're able to provide an update and tired things, more things. Um, one challenge we hit early and often, so that should come up here automatically. One challenge we hit early and often is that the matters most documentation was a little bit challenging in this space. So getting this up and running uh, really relied on the goodwill of strangers. We had a challenging time uh, with some authentication, finding some of the IDs was a little bit challenging, but also the interactive messages menus just were not uh, returning any value. Uh, I found a ton of other people with the same questions and some beautiful stranger who for absolutely no reason discovered that you need to mirror the ID of what's going on to have it work. There's no documentation around this. There's no explanation why this works, um, but this beautiful stranger absolutely made it happen. Um, we thought that we'd yeah, we really, really liked having something that we felt was going to be able to, we'd be able to use as soon as this was done, but would love to do a little bit more work coming out of it. Um, really, the biggest challenges we hit and continued to hit were uh, around Mattermost documentation. But at one point, we did have to reload the UI, um, the N8N UI, and discussed how it would be really, really useful to have a pinning function the ability to have the node hold on to some of the information it needed when we were going to repopulate fields. And I believe that might have been here in the webhook saying um, when we need to add an expression after we had re reloaded the UI, all of that information being gone was briefly a little bit, um, a little bit frustrating. Uh, but yeah, not too terribly stressful for the very, very first hack day for all three of us. <laughs> 